if someone is going for Zerglings now, then the mines will get triggered and all those kill scores of the Goliaths will go to uh, orange. And that's an indirect team kill, so to speak. You cannot prevent the splash damage, like totally not, but um, uh, yeah, going there on purpose, just waiting above the mines is a bit... I don't know, I think, yeah, that's... Uh, it's pretty obvious what you want to do, so you intend to feed those points, and so, uh, yeah, for me, uh, that's that's rather BM, so I guess we, we will try to stop that. Of course, you can always bring one unit there inside of the mines uh, just to stop um, uh, or rather distract the enemy's forces and make the, tr the mines trigger. But just going there with all the units and waiting like, yeah, here, a uh, thousand points for my ally. That's a bit, I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, second zone here and... Uh, oh, the mine going off, catching uh, actually not too many uh, marines, but quite some like one or two <laughs> lockdown on the Dragoon which uh, just died before this shell hit it. Um, here goes another Dragoon. Yeah, well, dra going for Dragoons, I really don't know why I did that here. Um, now, Mutalisks out here will easily be able to deal with all those um, Marines. Oh, let's see, this one might go down, yeah. 20 damage of a Ghost, pretty hardcore versus Mutas in team A. Um, yeah, still mines around um, at the top team spawn area, so um, what can the top team do now? Well, they could have went for an observer and uh, cleared that with those mutalists, not anymore now. And now that's what I was talking about, he's going for uh, uh, Zerglings to clear it, and um, yeah, <laughs> purple is kind of waiting um, above the mines for my... I don't know, yeah, you can see even pulling them more, uh, yeah, well, together here, um, but now the top team doesn't do um, that favor to the bottom one and is going for non-triggering units, and yeah, vice versa, now the bottom team's um, spawn area has been mined, um, let's see if Orange is going for an Observer, it looks like, yeah, he is going for an Observer. So um, the Wraiths of Purple can come back and uh, just start clearing all those uh, mines. Yeah, and that's a good timing here, a bit too late, but maybe no no lockdown on Wraiths, what a pity. Um, yeah, if you're going for mines, um, you really have to um, push in some some way, so the opponent team does not have the opportunity to to just clear those. Oh, ultralis out! So very well done here. Nice move. Absolutely no chance for the marines to do anything here. They do not have magics with them, and a reaver for blue, which isn't a bad idea, I have to say. Although he's now focusing on the marines, and um, yeah, well, uh, Ultralis can also deal with those mutas. You can see one already down here, and there goes the Scarab. Let's see. One more Scarab, and it's dead. So, well done here. If Ultralis are incoming, you can go for um, <coughs> maybe hallucinations and block them, um, or for uh, mines if you have the time, or a Reaver, as we just saw. So. <laughs> That's interesting, a combo for purple. Just some few cracklings. Um, yeah, and he went for that because he already selected a hero. And I didn't pay attention to it, but I bet the hero is inside. So we will now reveal the 15k hero of purple. And it is a phoenix. And I do not think the top team is aware of that combo. Could have been that selection here. <coughs> But he selected, I think it's here or there, this combo, you get an Overlord with these Zerglings. Now the Phoenix gets dropped by the Overlord, detection around, and the Phoenix is around. Now suiciding the Overlord, so um, Purple can respawn actually. And, um, I, uh, well done here. Oh, oh, Blue should stay there. Uh, if Blue stayed there with the Observer anyway, the lockdown goes off. Um, I was a bit um, worried here. Nice attack, nevertheless. Um, yeah, reducing the health points quite a bit. And a queen for red. Um, 
I do not think the bottom team knows about the queen yet, I'm not sure though. So the top team cannot do too much pressure with that queen. Um, and they get mined here. Hmm, well, we will see. Ah, <laughs> also interesting, using those uh, broodlings to get rid of the mines, but now the bottom team definitely knows about the queen. Um, blue has only <coughs> uh, ground units, so yeah, you can kind of expect raids, and that is exactly what purple is going for. Um, since there's no absorber, the queen really has to hit those uh, raids with a snare, but that didn't work out so well. Uh, two now um, ensnared and they're instantly going down. Let's see energy around for I think one more ensnare um, There it goes Okay, and now well, I don't know maybe blue if blue sees uh, raves here spawning He should quickly go um, and use one of those zealots on the ground suicide so um, he can get an observer But doesn't look like there are any uh, any raids incoming and um, red is just waiting here for um, to defend his queen hmm yeah well no more raids and blue went for an observer actually here um, and checked for raids let's see no raids no raids uh, instead of that the bottom team um, yeah uh, does a very uh, interesting strategy here um, they are just pushing in. The timing was a bit off here, as others should, should have arrived first. But anyway, I think they are able to um, to do a nice push here and also take out quite some units. So um, if if a team is camping behind to protect uh, an air hero, then you can just go for a strong ground push. Um, with uh, whatever salads, marines, or ultra discs in a 3 and 3, then you. Oh, oh man, and the queen is getting attacked by the race. Also, a vessel out here, and no anti air for the top team. That's a really cruel. Oh man, oh man, that timing was absolutely not good here. Um, yeah, you always have to expect that, and you can see um, how brilliant the bottom team switched uh, their strategies. Um, they went for ground, and then in the next move, when they knew there were some leftovers, then they went for air. But anyway, also very well done here. The queen is able, uh, until now at least, to escape, and there's a single Goliath. It's, it's not <laughs> not even an Alan Shazar. Oh, but now more rays incoming, and I think both heroes will go down. Uh, here goes the vessel, and the queen will... Oh, Matrix, by the way, so um, I think... Yeah, well, maybe might survive. At least one more hit for the uh, for the Goliath now. And yeah, well, so the Queen is actually sh uh, safe for now. The Queen also has enough energy to brood once again. And the the bottom team is really switching back. Not once again going for for race, but now for uh, this ground push. Um, this time um, timing wasn't that great. So Ultras get taken out, and Red has shield. If he, let's see, um, yeah, if Red is going for shield, he can uh, not only um, give full health points to the Queen, but also have shield and take those out. But okay, he goes for Yggdrasil. Um, kind of similar choice in, um, in ter terms of um, he can just see those raids, uh, save the Queen. And these DTs won't have a happy time here also because of that Yggdrasil providing the top team with the detection now. Um, okay, so that's very interesting. It's actually, yeah, well, both shields pretty, pretty down here. I was rather expecting a shield for the top team, simply because they need it and they could um, heal the queen. And, um, oh, blue quickly has to spawn, but I think the queen goes down, yeah. Well, so, anyway, um, hmm. I st still think um, Queen was the, uh, sorry, the uh, shield would have been a better choice, but um, you never know, and um, interesting enough, Orange is going for a vessel, and um, oh, it has been blinded, wow, I totally missed that, Yggdrasil has been blinded by a medic, top team didn't pay attention, where is that last Dragoon, so now, um, oh, Red should um, pull that over back here so he can restore it, but it's totally out of range, this will go down or, or suicided. 
not sure though. Let's see. I think it got rather suicided. Okay, so...